Roger Federer and Stan Smith are two of the most iconic athletes of all time, and the Adidas Stan Smith is one of the most iconic sneakers of all time. So much so that a lot of people don't even know that Stan Smith was a professional tennis player. They just know him as the guy on the sneaker. And now with Roger Federer coming out with his signature sneaker line, we now have the first in a new generation of classic sneakers. And me being the crazy foot doctor that I am and a nut for all things sneaker history and technology, I really want to combine the classic look of the Adidas Stan Smith with the new sneaker tech of the Rogers Center Court. And I think with a little bit of engineering and a little bit of shoe surgery, I think we can make something truly unique. Let's get to work. And as always, I start off by heating these shoes up to about 220 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes just to get that glue nice and soft. There are two main ways to separate the uppers and the soles. One is acetone and the other is boiling water. I tend to prefer acetone just because I can get it into a syringe and inject it into small areas and really get meticulous with my dissection between the layers. Also because boiling water I've found can weaken the midsole foam and you just need a larger workspace. So the acetone is just a more compact setup. And to physically separate the soles, I'm using a number 64 surgical blade with a beveled edge, which I love because I can use the tip to get into sharp corners and the belly of the blade just to easily separate the layers. What's interesting about the Stan Smiths is that the design really hasn't changed, so it's still an all rubber sole. There's no midsole foam, so it's made into a grid of rubber for a little more comfort. What this grid also means is that there is hardly room for glue, and that's why there's also stitching to hold the upper in place, unlike a modern shoe which has endless surface area for glue contact. The on midsoles are a different story. They're made mostly of Pebex, which is a stronger plastic substitute. It's famous in their running shoe line for efficient energy storage and return. And just below this are the Cloud Tech pods. This is what distinguishes on shoes when you see someone wearing them. They're hard to miss on their running shoes, but the center courts hide them well, giving a look more clean lines. Then of course that gum rubber providing a bit more contrast and character. My original idea was for the Stan Smith upper to go onto the Roger sole. I just think that the Adidas has the more iconic look, more recognizable at the moment at least, but the Roger Center Court base is just a marvel in sneaker tech, having such a resilient midsole and such a low profile package. But of course I'll also see if the reverse build fits too, the Roger upper and the Stan Smith sole. The first real trouble spot now is going to be figuring out if these different uppers and soles are even going to line up, as they're made by different companies, and if we learned anything on this channel, it's that the the same size and different brands can be totally different. All right, so before we actually find out if these line up for real and the uppers match the last, remember these are a custom shoe, so we should give them a custom name. You know, for these, there are a ton of cool options for names. I mean, there's a plethora of options for two different shoes, like the Adidas Center Court, the On Stan Smith, or even something like the, I don't know, Roger Smith. I actually do like the name Roger Smith. It just sounds like an insurance agent. Roger Smith here, Home Life Auto. But besides a lifestyle sneaker that's named after a fictional insurance agent, if you have a name you think would be really cool on these, make sure you put it in the comments down below and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next custom shoe build. But getting back to making these two shoes fit, what's interesting is that the uppers fit the ons almost perfect, like a glove. The on midsole is hugging the sides, the heel counter and toe box match up like they were just meant to be there. But the reverse shoe really isn't coming along with the same finesse. First of all, the Roger Center Court uppers are way too small for the Adidas soles. This at first glance doesn't make much sense because the Adidas uppers fit the on base just fine. But the reason this doesn't work in reverse is that the Adidas Stan Smith is just a slightly bigger shoe, but its uppers are malleable so you can kind of mold them how you like, even if they're just slightly large. But if the upper is too small, it's really hard to stretch them, especially if they have plastic incorporated like the Roger Center Quartz do. The other pothole in this shoe is that the synthetic leather of the Rogers is wickedly tough to get off the areas of midsole that ride up and over those uppers because of all that surface area contact. So there's a couple areas of inconsistency. This can probably be painted over with leather paint, but I'll save that for when I get a pair of center quartz that are a half size bigger than the Stan Smiths because I'll need that extra upper material to make that build work. Back to the main build here, or the Roger Smith as I'm calling them for now. 
I'm gonna lay my glue down on the sole and get all up in the crevices as well as a layer on the Stan Smith uppers. Now typically I'll tape the uppers, but since they seat so far into the Roger midsole, I can just be careful and do it by feel. I also don't want tape getting caught up in that upper and midsole interface. And now we just let time do its thing and let them cure. After about 40 minutes, I'm heating these up to about 120 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit to activate the glue. Just using a regular hair dryer, nothing fancy. And in this build, I want that toe box looking perfect and there's some overhang on the midsole in the mid and forefoot. So I'm starting at the toe box and I'm gonna work my way back. The hard part about starting up at the front is that you need to center the heel last, but these do look centered and clean, so I'm going to stuff them with socks at the trouble spots and just let these settle. Now that the heel is seated, these are actually looking pretty smart. And for the insole, I'm going with the Roger Center Cord insole, number one because it has a green base, which I like, so it matches, number two because we're actually standing on the Roger Center Cord midsole, and number three, I think it's kind of cool that you got the Stan Smith on the outside and then kind of powered by the Roger Center Cord on the inside. And what I thought I wasn't going to like ended up being one of the things I like the most about this shoe, and that's that the upper is a little more of a pearl white, but the midsole is a little more of a cream white. It actually offsets pretty well and actually makes the shoe look a little bit more distinctive versus just an entire bed of white. Really kind of adds a new dimension to the shoe, which I kind of find is a little more distinctive. The reason I like this build so much is because it reminds me of Federer's footwork and technique in a way. A classic style in the modern game. Just like this sneaker with a more classic upper, but then more modern mid and outsole using on speedboard and their cloud tech pods. So this shoe looks timeless, but just feels a little more plush underfoot. And heads up, if you wanna see more custom sneaker builds, make sure you click into the playlist up above and subscribe down below. Remember to respect rubber and foam. I'll see you in the next video.